Hello, I'm Angela Lee, and I'm here with my colleague, Jerry Miller. We're excited to speak with you about education at Esri. Education is a core value at Esri, along with conservation and sustainability. We believe spatial literacy and critical thinking skills are key to making informed decisions that will lead to a sustainable future. And because technology and science are always advancing, we all need to be lifelong learners. Our program serves people at all levels, from K-12 to higher education to GIS professionals. Many teams at Esri are involved in education, including educational services, Esri Press, the Learn Team, the education sector, which supports colleges and universities, and in fact, every sector who conduct events such as this forum to support professional development. In all, over 250 people are involved in education. Here you can see many of the resources we offer, from Learn ArcGIS lessons to Esri technical certification. Some of these resources are designed for exploring new software workflows, while others are designed for developing expertise in a specific area. I'm going to dive a little deeper into three collections that progress from exploration to expertise. Resources from Learn ArcGIS are designed for exploration. They provide a great first experience and are scenario based. They have a rapid development cycle to reflect current issues such as COVID, climate science, and racial equity. Resources from Esri Press meet a range of needs with titles such as the ArcGIS book for exploration and software workbooks for building skills. Esri Academy resources are designed for developing expertise with both instructor-led and web courses available. And Esri certification provides a way to demonstrate your expertise. That's a quick tour of education at Esri. Now Jerry will share more information about the education sector team and how we support educational institutions. Great. Thanks so much, Angie. So I'd like to talk a little bit about our education program, what it entails, what is involved, and the type of work we do to support educators. So what we're going to see here in the next slide is the mission of our education team. So the key, the core mission is to support educators, scholars, and student, students globally and around the world. So we do this in a number of different ways. We provide access to technology and learning resources to more than 12,000 universities globally for the purposes of teaching as well as research work. We also work very closely with our wonderful chief scientist, Dr. Don Wright, um, as well as many, many other subject matter experts at ESRI across various team, um, teams at ESRI in terms of helping research work that gets done across various organizations and institutions. And we donate access to ArcGIS, we donate our technology and learning resources to all primary secondary schools globally, so any K-12 um, institutions. And then last but not least, outside of the teaching and research domains, we enable administrators um, in higher education and school institutions to manage operations efficiently. So not just again for teaching and research, but in terms of running some of the either facilities or utilities or other sort of um, entities on campus that are more so from the operational standpoint. So who we are as a team, um, there are a handful of us that are part of the education team, but again, there's a whole family at Esri that is there to support scholars, to support educators, to support students. Um, some of us work in higher education, some of us work in K-12 space. And again, we work with many, many of these teams across Esri, and you already mentioned the Learn team, the Esri Press team, the educational services team that produce all of this educational content. And there's lots of other teams or product teams in particular, development teams, that we work with very closely in terms of connecting educators and research with the technology. And as it's being developed, there's a lot of information, communication, feedback going back and forth. And that is very, very precious for us. And also just to mention that we are a global company. We have offices throughout the whole world. And we work very closely with our distributors in those offices to support the education communities in their respective countries. 
So what are the key support items that we provide? Um, software being one of them, so of course, we provide access to the technology. We have institution agreements, we have school bundles and such that, that they are available across the entire educational institution. And you discussed all of the wonderful resources that we have available, again, with Learn Resources, with Esri Press Books, with some of the um, educational Esri team web courses and other courses that we have available. And we also provide a lot of support the academic and research communities. And those could take place in various shapes and forms. So we do a lot of thought leadership, a lot of curriculum development, a lot of advice in terms of research activities that are taking place across institutions. We also do a lot of things like workshops on specific topics of interest, such as data science, or perhaps someone is interested in implementing more so imagery and remote sensing at their work and their um, research and analysis needs. Um, so we do a lot of those workshops and one-on-one -on -one sort of guidance um, types of, um, of media that we help uh, those educational institutions advance geospatial literacy. So the key primary areas of interest for us is, is for us are geo-enabling campuses. And that could mean many different things, of course. We work with many entities across the academic campus. We work with IT stakeholders to ensure technology is available to everyone across the academic community, we or the campus community, we work a lot with instructional technologies, we work a lot with specific departments that are focusing on, on, on specific items, again, whether it's engineering department, whether it's data science and analytics sort of department. So um, GS can be leveraged across many different disciplines. So we support a number of those key disciplines that are some of them I just mentioned. Uh, but we really support the entire academic community. We work very closely with academic librarians as well that also work very closely to support educational needs across the campus. En engaging students, it's something else that we do. So we pride ourselves with um, just some of our work that is, in, that, that, that is there to support the student body directly, whether it's providing access, whether it's providing learning resources, career advice, various workshops, and so on. And then again, I mentioned enabling of our distributors. That is where a global company, so we work with all of our, those global offices that we have to ensure that academic sectors and academic markets across the world are being supported. So what success looks like? So this is just one example. Um, this is University of Michigan won the presidential award this year, at, um, our um, ESRI user conference. So it's a very prestigious award that for the first time was being awarded to university. But why did they get this award and this very special nomination? So if you look at that chart, it's, it's a little bit hard to see, but there's geospatial technology that is being used and leveraged across so many degree programs, so many departments across the university. It's, it's really actually hard to see how many. Um, so it's very, very exciting to see that over 7,000 users across the university using the technology for various, various needs, again, whether it's research, whether it's teaching, and so on. And there's a, a team at the University of Michigan that, that works to support that academic community. And also, they're, of course, they've been very early innovators of geospatial technology. They've, they've implemented it, and they've made it available across the entire campus community. But they've also worked a lot very closely with our development team teams, uh, particularly providing feedback as we develop technology to ensure that it is serving the needs of scholars, the needs of research, re researchers, the needs of educators. So as a sum, there's a lot that we can be doing jointly, we could be doing together. And this is a quote that Jack used again in the last user conference. So creating a sustainable future is possible, but we must act now, um, applying our best science, our best technology, our best creativity, and we must do it together. And as part of that, and all of the efforts that are undergoing, geographic thinking is absolutely essential in all of the work that we do. And again, across all of these different um, scholarly disciplines. Thank you. And, um, Back to you.